Hello, my student. How are you? I hope you all fine. Today, our lesson about vocabulary. Open your book, page 16. Oh, please open your book, page 16. Yes, question one. We have the first thing, question one. All of you open page. All of you be open page 16. Okay, my student. Now, label the parts of the house with these words. Label the parts of the house with these words. We have here words, okay? First, we'll know what's the mean of these words and, and we'll return and we will return in other time. Okay, the first, we have first word, okay? Attic, balcony, okay, ceiling, okay, chimney, wait, we have some word, before we start, we'll know What's the mean in Arabic? And then return to the question. Okay? Now, the first word, attic. What's the meaning of attic? We have some word here. We'll know what's the mean. Okay, the first word, attic. Attic, as we know, al aliya al aliya In the Arabic, al aliya Sudh al alwi Okay. Second word, balcony, as you know, balcony. Okay, what's the meaning of ceiling? Saqf al-ghurfa. Saqf al-ghurfa. Okay, other word, difficult word, downstairs. Down. Stairs. And we have opposite of down, upstairs, okay. Downstairs, at-tabiq as-sufli. At-tabiq as-sufli. Upstairs, at-tabiq al-ilwi. Okay, we have a floor. We have Floor, طابق, floor, طابق, okay, sorry about my phone, wait, طابق, okay, and we have roof and garage, roof, برضه برضه السطح يا مس بس بيج 16 in your student book vocabulary page 16 in your student book okay roof سطح العلوي السطح اللي هو اعلى شيء في البيت the up of the house okay upstairs we talk الطابق العلوي okay Let's return to our question. Now, label the parts of the house with this word. We have a word we'll label at the house. The first one, the first one, the first one. Who can tell me? Who can tell me the first one? I'll, yes, I'll look to your answer. Who can tell me? The first one. Okay, the first one. Yes, excellent. Excellent. Thank you for your answer, Sarah or Dana. Okay, now the second word. Look here, the second word. Look at this part. Look at this part. Okay, we have excellent attack. Yes. What? 
Yes, we have answer. Okay, now three. Look at three. This is what I talk about. Roof. 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 Um, sham page sixteen. Sham page sixteen. Okay. Now number four. Number four. As you see, balcony. Balcony. I told you balcony. Balcony. Okay. Now number five. Look at. Number five, number five, upstairs. Excellent, thank you for your answer. Yes, upstairs. Um, again, we're page 16 at your student book. Open your student book, page 16. Okay, so number five, upstairs. Okay, what's about number six? It's upstairs. So, number six, downstairs. Excellent. Number six, downstairs. Excellent. Okay. Number seven, number seven, a place where we bought our cars. Place where we bought our cars. Garage, excellent. Lehua el Karash. Okay, number eight. Number eight, yes. Ceiling. As I told you, Saqf al Ghurfa, ceiling. Here. Okay. Okay. Ceiling. Excellent. Now, number nine, number nine, what we call it floor, floor, floor. Yes. Yes, I saw Sarah. Yes, seven garage. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for your participations. Now, now, eight. We talk ceiling nine floor. So again, we have parts of the house. Parts of the house. We. We will label the parts in the house. We'll label the parts in the house. Now, my student. Okay. Now, look at question number two. Question number two. Okay. Complete the sentences with different kind of home. Complete. We have types of home. Okay, write a vowel, a, e, a, o, u, on each line. So we'll use the vowels. Okay, we have this letter we'll use in the space. Number one, number one. Okay. Okay, now, number one, the best part about living in, who can tell me the answer? Another one. Put your answer in the comments. Miss, write the comments or write the comments on the YouTube. Okay, the best part about living in, okay, look at this word, at this word, okay? This new word for you in a ditch, a ditch. What's the meaning of a ditch? A ditch, 
بعيد منفصل اديتش اديتش بعيد منفصل اوكي okay. look at the letters we have e and a and e so with the answer we missing these letters okay e a and e okay okay let's continue oh sorry we have other space in number one okay Okay. In a detached house, is that you can hear your neighbors through the walls. So the other space, O, U, and E. Yes. I told you page 16. No, student work. Open your student work page 16, question 2. We finished question 1. Now, number 2. My grandparents, my grandparents live in a big old, big old. Try to give me the answer. Tasa, try to give me your answer. My grandparents live in a big old, yes, farm. Yes, excellent. A, we missing A letters and farmhouse and O, U, and the last letters E. Okay, when I go to visit, I help them Feed the cows and chickens. Okay, number three. My family and I live in a in a semi semi detached house. Semi detached house. So we missing we missing e and the second word. E, A, and E, detach. Okay. Um, the wall we share with the neighbors is very thin. I'm glad they're quiet people. So we answer number one and two and three. Let's go to number four. My aunt lives in one of the terraced, terraced, What's the meaning of terrace, Tasa? Where's your terrace? Okay. Terrace. Okay. We missing this letter. We, we miss this letter. What the letters? E. Excellent. Yes. A. And. E. Terrace miss اللي هو التراس تاع البيت. تراس. 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 Okay. That's here's at the way at the very end of the row. Row صف. Row صف. So number four we missing E. A and E. The second word. U O U and E. Please, my student, I need your participation. Where's your participation? Okay, number five. My dream is to live in a little white, in a little white, yes, cottage. What's the meaning of cottage? O, cottage, who famous? Who wants to love at cottage? Okay. We miss O, A, 
and E. So, number five, we miss this letter. Okay. The last one, my brother Kevin has removed, have moved into a large, into a large, anyone want to answer the, the last one? Anyone want to, la to answer the last one? Okay. My brother Kevin has moved into a large block flat, block flat, so we missing O and other word A. Block flat. Who can tell me what's the meaning of block flat? Okay, شقة سكنية. Block flat, شقة سكنية. Block. Okay, sorry. Block flat, شقة سكنية. So we have three types of, we have three types of homes. Okay, types of home. Types of homes. Types of homes. The first one, second, and the last one. The first type, detach house. Excellent, thank you. Okay. A detach house. Detach house. The second one, semi detach detach house and the last one block flat block flat so these types of homes we have a three types of home we have a three types the first detach second semi detach house and the last one a block a flat this according to question number two. Okay. Now, question number three. Question number three. We have a table. We have a table. Okay. We have a table. The first one, living room. Living room. Second one, bed room. Now I need your participation with the Musharakit Khan to put. I need your participation. Eighth grade, ninth grade. Okay, bedroom and kitchen and bath room. Okay. We have words. We'll put. In the table, the first one arm share. The first one arm share. A share where we put our shares. Sure, we bought at living room. Arm share. Yes, excellent. Okay, number one, carpet. Carpet. We bought carpet. Yes, at living room. Excellent. Thank you, Sada. Thank you, Sara Dumi. Thank you for your participation. Okay, car, carpet. Okay, number three, chest of drawers. Chest of drawers. Where we put our drawers? We put our drawers in bedroom. So, chest of drawers. Excellent, Sara. Chest of drawers. Okay, cooker, cooker, where we put our cooker? Yes, Sarah Kadumi. Thank you for your participation. Okay, Sarah, put your answer in English. Sarah, please put your answer in English. Excellent, as I know you, you are a great. Okay, kitchen, cooker, excellent. 
cooker we bought in the kitchen. Okay. What's about cupboard? Cupboard. Cupboard, yes, in the kitchen. Excellent. Bravo, Sara. Okay. Bardo Khazana. Cupboard. Excellent. Okay. Curtains. Curtains. Where we put curtains? Yes, we put curtains. Yes, in living room. Curtains. Satair. Excellent. Curtains. Okay. Desk. Where we put our desk? In bedroom to study. We use bed, uh, sorry, desk in bedroom. Okay, fridge. Fridge. Yes. Okay. Fridge in the kitchen. Fridge in the kitchen. Okay. Lamp. Yes. Lamp in the bedroom. Okay. We have microwave. Sure, we bought microwave. And the kitchen. Okay, shower. Shower in the bathroom. Excellent. Shower in bathroom. Sofa. Sofa, sure, in living room. Sofa in be living room. Thank you, Sara. Okay. Now, toilet. Toilet in bathroom. Yes, excellent. In bathroom. Now, wash person. Wash person. He is a little gassil. We bought sure in the bathroom. Wash person. Now I think we can also put in bathroom curtains. Curtains, sorry. We can put in bathroom curtains. We can put in other way. Okay. Now I'll give you something about phrasal verb. Okay. Finish your writing. Are you finished your writing? Finish your writing. Okay. Living room where we bought armchair, sofa, carpet, curtains. Okay. Bedroom, chest of drawers, desk, lamp, kitchen. We bought cooker, cupboard, fridge, microwave, bathroom. We bought shower, toilet, wash basin, and curtains. Okay. Okay. Now, the last thing we have about a phrasal verb. Okay, we have phrasal verb. Okay, what's the mean of a phrasal verb? Combine between two words, word with two or one words. Okay, verb with words. Okay, what's type of this word? The words, preposition, or Adverb. But in our lesson, we'll use verb with preposition. Okay? So, a phrasal verb combined between two words, verb and preposition. Okay? Combination between two words, and it's got other, uh, other meaning. Okay? So, a phrasal verb, verb plus preposition. In our lesson, we just have the type verb with preposition. Okay, Miss. Look at page 17 in your school, uh, student book. Okay. Okay, sir, thank you for your information. Thank you. Yes, verb with a preposition. Okay, phrasal verb, verb with a preposition in our lesson. Okay, let's go to question number five. Question number five. Okay. Yes. Okay. Circle the correct word. Now, circle the correct words. Often the outside of... Yes. Okay, Sarah. We uh, sure the mean will change if we add 
other preposition or other word. إذا ضفنا يمس كلمة ثانية للفعل أو صار تركيب للفعل بيختلف عن معناه. Thank you for your question. Okay. Now question number five. Question number five. Often the outside of a house wear up or wear out because of the weather. Wear, wear. Who can tell me the answer? Wear. Wear out, thank you. Wear out. Wear out because of the weather. Okay, number two. Joe was tidying, tidying in or up, tidying in or up kitchen. Sure, we bought up because. Okay. So the answer up. Thirteen. Okay. Number three. Sarah, you have any question? I think you have a question. Excellent. Yes, up, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah Al-Qaddumi. Okay. Number three. Thank you, Nancy. It was kind of you to help me put away or down the dishes. Put away or down. Put away or down. Yes, but. Away, but away, but away. Okay. We did up or for our uh, old cottage last year, and now it looks as good as new. We bought. Yes, Sarah. Yes, away. Okay. What's about number four? Number four. Okay. Did up. Did up. Excellent. Now, number five, uh, you put up or throw new curtains in the living room. They're lovely. Number five, up. Yes. Put up. Okay. Number six, the last one, the last one, my student, they pulled away or down the old house and built a three new blocks of a flat. Bolt down, bolt down. So the last one, bolt down. Now my student, I want from you to write six sentences about this phrasal verb. Wear up, wears out, Teddy up, um, put away, did up and put up and pulled down and sent into the WhatsApp, okay? Don't forget to send your homework. Again, write six sentences about these phrasal verbs. Write six sentences about these verbs. And inshallah, in next lesson, we'll start verb formation. We'll start word formation. Don't forget to prepare your lesson. Don't forget to prepare your lesson. It talks about adjective. So, thank you, Sarah, for your participation. I really like your participation. Thank you very much. Don't forget to prepare word formation. Thank you for your participation, Sarah Al-Qaddumi. Yes.